Hello everyone, it's David from Automotive Press. As you know, I've already done a full review on the new Toyota Prius. So if you haven't seen that one, please watch that one first. I'll put a link in the description below. But what I want to do today is that I now have the full production version of the Toyota Prius. So I want to do a full quality audit and manufacturing check to see how well this thing is built because the Prius is still built in Japan, unlike many other small cars that are built in North America. So let's do a quality check in terms of panel alignment, panel fit and paint job, and do a quick check on the interior to see if this Toyota Prius is truly one of the best built cars in the world. So first I'm gonna do the panel alignment here. I apologize that the car is a little bit dirty right now, um, but uh, let's do a quick um, gap analysis. And it's 3.8 millimeter here, 3.9 millimeter here, and more importantly, it is totally, totally flat and leveled. So between the hood and the front fender, the line is perfect. The gap from front to the back is also just all perfect. I will point out that there's a bit of a bigger gap right in the front here because of the design of the front fender where they round up the front here. That is to make the manufacturing a little bit easier. But when you look at it, it looks a little bit odd. So I'm not sure why Toyota did that. They could have stretched this a little bit further out and make it look uh, a little bit better. But that's okay, it's not a big deal. Between the front fender and the front door is 3.2 millimeter. And this is 3.3 millimeter. And in the back, also 3.2 millimeter. So very consistent. The gaps are one of the best in terms of the alignment and in terms of the size of the gap because most small cars are between four to four and a half millimeters. So not too many cars in this price range can boast a quality this good where the gaps are basically less than 3.5 millimeter. Now right here in the back, you can't really um, measure a body gap because we already have a glass a hatch here. So you do have a pretty wide gap here, about five millimeter, but this is more by design because um, this is really not the panel anymore. This is now the whole hatch. Um, otherwise, in terms of the basic panel alignment, as I mentioned, you can see from back to the front, almost perfect panel fit, and it's especially uh, impressive because we have interesting curvature here on the new uh, Prius. This is something that manufacturing people don't really like because um, having this big piece of metal stretch out, the, this kind of shape, and then concave again, and then curvature again, it's actually very difficult to get it right. And we have this hard edge that goes along the side of the Prius, which is something that manufacturing people also don't like because it's hard to line up the edge perfectly. But you can tell right now, all of the edge is perfectly lined. You'll see in many uh, North American made product, these things don't line up and you can see the difference in level. But in the case of Prius, wow, this is like uh, a quality of a $100,000 car. Now in terms of paint job, I know it's a little bit dirty right now, but once again, excellent paint job from front to back. I'll measure the paint thickness in a moment here. But again, the most impressive thing is right here where the curvature is. You can almost see the wave of the paint coming through like this. And that kind of curvature is really difficult to get it perfect to the eye. Because as I glance from back to the front like this, you can see this natural wave of the paint coming through straight all the way and then curves again. Well, it's almost like a sculpture. Uh, in terms of uh, artistic work because it's so hard to get it right in this type of body. Let's measure the paint thickness right now to see how thick the paint job is on this all new Toyota Prius. So I now have the paint thickness gauge right here which measures the total amount of paint that's being applied on the sheet metal whether it's aluminum or actual steel doesn't really matter it still measures the same way and you want the paint thickness to be between kind of 100 to 150 microns most Toyotas are between 100 to 120 microns, a little bit thinner than uh, maybe let's say in a Lexus model, just because they're trying to save weight and also cost. But let's measure the paint thickness on this Toyota Prius. So this is 144, which is actually pretty good thickness. This is by the way, aluminum, you can tell just by pressing it, the kind of softness of aluminum, but also this one, the gauge actually tells me that this is an aluminum panel. Let's measure the front fender here. 123, which is also very good. And by the door, 122, one more by the rear door, 115. And finally on the roof, 106. So a little bit thinner on the roof, which is typical. Let's do one more check in here in the rear fender. 
113. So this is pretty well average for Toyota. It's kind of ranging from 110 to 130 across the board, but very consistent. So the paint thickness is also um, pretty well average for what I see in the Toyota. Now let's check the inside to see how good the quality is. So now I'm inside the Toyota Prius. And as I mentioned to you, this one is built in Japan. This is now the production model versus the pre-production model that I checked a number of months ago. So I'm really curious to see how good the quality of manufacturing is inside for the full production model. Now what I do to do this audit is to, first of all, I do a little punch test like this, kind of see if anything is loose. Because if I punch like this and you can hear a rattle, well, when you go over rough roads, you're going to hear something. In the case of Prius, everything looks tight. Nothing seems to be loose. And I didn't hear any rattles or squeaks while I'm driving as well. But the most important thing I check for is how the parts fit. So how do these plastic pieces fit? Whether or not they feel right, like uh, for the case of Prius, we get a really good tactile feel here. And even the feel of the stock switches right here. So those are some of the things I look for. And in this Prius, you can really tell that the engineers have done their homework because every switch has a very nice tactile feel that is kind of like uh, what you feel in the high-end stereo system, which may, many of us don't even own anymore these days. But every button has a really nice feel to it. And the plastic parts are the one that I also look out for because you want to see the texture of these plastic to be just the right amount of reflection and the right amount of matte feel. You don't want it to look too shiny or too matte, but you got a pretty well perfect fit here and all of the alignments are good and the molding and so forth looks really good. Whereas in the pre-production model I saw, there was some inconsistency just because that wasn't the final version. I really like this textured aluminum look uh, on the trim here, it looks really great. And then all of the switches and so forth over here work well as well. I did notice that uh, the plastic here has some fingernail scratches already. So maybe that wasn't the best selection of materials to put it right here where my hand goes. Uh, but the cup holders are well designed and even the wireless charging area looks pretty good here as well. There's lots of glossy black finish here which I'm not too crazy about but not too much on the dash and then on the side door here all of the panel looks good because you get some hard plastic mixed in with a soft plastic. The seats are comfortable and the quality of the leather on the steering looks really good. So if you were to just look at this as an engineer from outside to inside and I was let's say hired to do a quality audit I will give it a solid A all around both exterior and interior, which is phenomenal for a car at this price range. We're looking at the overall manufacturing quality of something that costs two or three times as much. In fact, many cars that cost $100,000 more can't match the quality of what I see here in the Toyota Prius. And not only that, I really do enjoy driving the Prius as a very simple, practical hybrid car that has a pretty good feedback into the steering when you drive, whether you're going straight or winding road or on a highway, there's a sense of um, connectedness to the road. Uh, it is light and therefore it is not a fun car to drive, I would say, but compared to many other small cars, the actual steering effort and the feel is better than expected. So those are some of my second thoughts when it comes to the new Toyota Prius. Again, if you haven't seen my full review, please watch that and I'll put the link in the description. But what, what I really want to do today is to focus on the quality check of this production model to see if they still meet my expectation and they definitely do and in fact they exceed my expectation. If you enjoyed my video, I would appreciate it if you can give me a thumbs up and make some comments. And if you haven't done so yet, would you kindly subscribe? Thank you so much and until next video, I'm signing off for now.